Sunday evening again and what I've noticed online over the weekend is the number of people who found themselves self-sabotaging all the great work they've done by giving in to temptation and then struggle to understand what they happened. <coughs> the crazy thing is many of these same people are already enjoying the benefits of being sober, being clean. You know, you look at the posts, they've got better relationships with family, feeling better, looking better. They just don't understand why the hell they tripped up again. See, staying sober can be a challenge. Reality is, sobriety or getting clean has nothing to do with quitting or giving up something. No, instead, it's really about transforming your lifestyle. That will require a lot of sustained effort on your part. This process of staying sober then is more about change, about growth, improvement and opportunity. And for that we need to be resilient, or in other words, have the ability to, to adapt to challenges and, and life changes. But before you do that, you need to eliminate the self-sabotage. You know, it often starts with, with lying about the cravings and before you know it, it ends with the madness that finds you chugging that bottle in secret behind the garage, right in the middle of a family dinner or doing a quick line in the bathroom. But why, you ask? You were doing so well. You have everything going for you, yet you've still done it. That's why I keep saying that your physical addiction is only a symptom of your issues. Basically, you must focus on fixing these issues or you will keep fucking up. So what are these issues? Well, often it's destructive thoughts, persistent negative thoughts about yourself, low self-worth, even self-hatred, as I spoke about during the week. These all need to be avoided. And the other biggie is feeling guilt and shame. Constantly reminding yourself of terrible things you did in the past and mistakes you've made will only upset you and leave you feeling depressed, worthless and alone. These need to be left in the past as you can't change it. A big part of my Inner Focus program works on transforming these thoughts so that you do believe in yourself and you can do this. During the upcoming week I will talk about the importance of getting our essential human emotional needs met, along with the resources we all have at our disposal for making it happen. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday everyone and I'll see you all tomorrow. Cheers guys!